A man who was there the night Yusuf al Hasnawi was shot and later died says the young man said several times that he'd been shot and was having difficulty breathing in the presence of paramedics. That testimony was heard at the John Sapinka Courthouse in Hamilton today, where the trial of those two former paramedics continues. Matt Ingram reports. This surveillance video shows a crowd of people gathered around 19 year old Yusuf al Hasnawi after he was shot by a 22 caliber handgun in downtown Hamilton on December 2nd, 2017. Amin al-Tahir is one of them, and he told the court today he heard al-Hasnawi say several times he had been shot and was having trouble breathing. He says the younger, taller paramedic, Christopher Marchant, knelt down and pressed on al-Hasnawi's wound with a bit of gauze, drawing a little blood and kept telling the 19-year-old his injury wasn't serious, just a pellet gun injury. He just kept saying, there's nothing wrong with you. You saw your family, now you can stop acting. Al-Tahir is a close friend of al-Hasnawi's father, Majid, and the director of the nearby al-Mustafa Islamic Center, where Yusuf's brother ran to get Majid after the shooting. Al-Tahir went with the father and brother to where Yusuf lay. He says he told medics the young man was a medical sciences student, and if he says he's having trouble breathing, he knows what he's talking about, and they should take him to the hospital. If you think this is gun-related, drug-related, no. He knows what he's feeling. Al-Tahir says the two paramedics tried to get Al-Hasnawi to his feet at least twice, eventually getting him up and on the ambulance stretcher. They tossed him on the stretcher. You know when you toss a bag, not a human being? Like when you have a heavy weight and it's too heavy and you just let it go? When we saw the way they handled him, we screamed at them. You shouldn't do that. Christopher Marchant's lawyer, Jeffrey Manishin, pushed Al-Tahir on some of the details of his testimony suggesting Al-Hasnawi was put on the stretcher much quicker than Al-Tahir remembers, and there were more attempts to stand Al-Hasnawi up involving police and others there. Al-Tahir admits he could have made a mistake on the duration and may not remember everything, but believes his testimony to be accurate. Also testifying today was George Katsudis, who heard a pop before entering a nearby convenience store, where he says he spoke with Yusuf's younger brother Ahmed, pleading for someone to call 911. Katsudis says he went across the street and examined the wound. He says it looked like someone had pulled the scab off a little too soon, a very small skin break. Because of the sound I heard, I thought he got hit by a BB gun and initially thought he was in shock. I even told him, you're going to be okay. 55-year-old Steve Snively and 32-year-old Christopher Marchant are accused of failing to provide the necessaries of life. They lost their jobs as paramedics but could face up to five years in prison if they're found guilty. Al Hasnawi was shot by a man named Dale Quint King, who was later acquitted on second-degree murder charges. But that case is being appealed. Phil.